Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I am going to explain about the decision conditioning statements in Perl. There are 7 decision conditioning statements in Perl. All act the same as in C or in Java. Except that there is one more statement called unless. This behaves exactly opposite to the if statement. If statement executes when the condition is true, while unless condition executes when the condition is false. Like in C or Java, there is a ternary operator in Perl too. Now let us see an example. In this program, I am going to illustrate the decision conditioning statements. For this, I have declared an array called skills where each scalar is a technology name. Firstly, if condition. If this condition is true, the expression in the if block are going to get executed. I am going to check whether the last scalar of this array is shell or not. This condition is true. Let us test it. The expression is executed. The second decision conditioning statement it is if else block. If this condition is false then the expressions in the else block will get executed. As this condition is false the expressions in this else block are going to be executed. This is from the else block. Next is if else if block. I am going to write here another block. The condition in the else if block is true. Now the expression in this block are going to get executed. This is coming from the else if block. Next is if else if else block. What if this condition is also not true? If this condition is also not true and the condition in the if block is also not true then the execution will come to the else block. Whatever expressions are there in the else block are going to get executed. This is coming from the else block. Next is nested ifs. Let's make this condition true. This condition is true. I am going to remove this expression. After this there is a nested if condition checking for the first scalar of the array whether it is Perl or not. Both the conditions are true and now you can write the expressions whatever you want to execute. This is a nested if block which means both the conditions in the if block have to be true in order to execute the expressions inside the if block. This is from the nested if block. Next decision conditioning statement is unless. Unless is just opposite of if condition. It checks for false condition. If condition will execute only when the condition is true. But unless condition will execute only when the condition is false. For example,
This means I am checking the size of the array to be 6. But if you just check here, the size of the array is 5, which is false. As this condition is false, the expressions inside the unless block are going to get executed. This is just opposite of if. Next is unless and else block. Let's say I have given a correct condition. The size of the array is 5. Now the execution comes to else block. This came from the else block. Next is unless else if else block. If you can see here else if block, I am checking the last scalar of the array whether it is shell or not. It is shell. This is just like an if statement. Now let us test it. As this is true, the expression inside this block is going to get executed. If this is false, it's going to come to the else block. Next is ternary operator. For this I am going to write a small program. I am going to take a input like enter a user id chomp it uh, to remove the new line I have to check the length of this user id if it is 4 do something else if it is not do something else for this I am going to write a ternary operator it's just the same as C C++ how we use if this condition is true then just print length is 4 If this condition is not true, then just print Now let's run this It's waiting for me to enter a user ID This has ran and the if condition is true that means this block is true. If you can see here, I've used a question mark for the if condition and a colon for the else condition. Now, what if I give a string which is not of length 4? Length is not 4. That means it executed the else block. It's very easy to remember question mark and then colon. This is if condition and this is else condition.